horn and maybe. Very good. Yeah. So Tim, Paul here. Paul and Taylor and Connor. Hello. So uh so your bow light had two holes drilled in it. Um and this one was threaded, this one was not. Actually I think maybe at one time it had been threaded, but I think it was full of chrome. Um so you don't yeah, definitely don't need two. Matter of fact, you probably didn't even ever have this one. This one was probably not original, because usually the daggone, uh, daggone uh, bow flags uh, didn't stay in while you were underway. So I would suggest that we fill this one, and that we go ahead and we can put a uh, either a plastic set screw or maybe we can put a knurled knob on a set screw in here to hold your bow flag in place. Um, or we can fill it, which is probably more correct, but uh, you'll be chasing after your bow flag and, and it'll make for interesting activity with the kids to go back and try to pick your bow flag back up. Sounds silly. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. So I think we should leave it drilled and tapped. Um, these, we're not gonna send off to Chrome Shop because, well, they look pretty good to start with, but I can buy these brand new for like $20 a set, a set of two. And that's a lot cheaper than we can get them re-chromed. Uh, this piece right here is one of your transom straps and somehow or another somebody cut it into not one of ours But so, somewhere along the line it was cut into two pieces and that's not correct. So uh, Those are uh, so we're gonna make we're gonna have this made out of stainless mirrored stainless in one piece um, Here's the chrome that we're getting ready to send off and uh, We're also now your cut water is stainless but we're going to send it down for buffing we could buff it ourselves but we're pretty busy right now so um we're going to send that down for buffing we're also going to send your transom strap which is also stainless steel we're going to send it down for buffing as well so um uh, and then uh this is a knurled or no excuse me not a knurled this is a star gas cap uh your your boat was actually you see this little hole right here that was your vent your fuel tank vent so we're going to vent your fuel tank that way we re ended up replacing the plank that had an improper vent in it um so this will be where, where how we're going to vent your tank um we'll plug the vent line off on your tank mm -hmm. your glass is looking a little worse for wear uh as a matter of fact, your front glasses, your front uh, windshields were t uh, tinted. You can see the green green of the tint here, and your side windows were not tinted. Yeah, they're kind of looking like they were tinted. But anyway, uh, we're not intending to change these right now. If you want us to change them, we can. Uh, it's starting to deteriorate. The plastic that's between your two layers is starting to deteriorate. Sooner or later, this deterioration that you're seeing of the plastic will will creep out from under your windshield frame. But for right now, uh, it, it, it's okay. It, it's, it's hidden by your windshield frame. So uh, if you want to replace these, it's about 150 bucks per, per side on the windshield and then maybe another 25 or 30 on this rounded uh, this rounded side window. So, uh, if you want to do them, what, 300, maybe 400 bucks, and uh, we can put you a new windshield on. Uh, so, uh, so, I think that's it. Oh, are you showing them that? Oh, and tell them doing one of the vents. Uh huh. Yeah. The, uh, these, these are actually different. This is thicker. And this is longer. That's a number eight screw, and that's like a number twelve screw, probably. Yeah. So these are obviously. So we found the right cleats. We have the right cleats in okay, stock here, right? Huh? Yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't. Okay. Didn't yeah. remember to tell them that. So. Yeah, we got right so that's all handled. That's it then, I guess. Uh, unless you want some new pads. These pads aren't terrible. No. But uh, new rubber pads. pads uh, there was, they were pretty bad. bad. I don't think they looked that bad. And then uh, oh. I didn't talk to him about his three through holes. So you had three different oh, through holes. You had a they don't match. So if you want to match and these would be Chris these would be Chris Craft. Would these be oh these these no no I mean these would have 
Chris Craft on. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, but that'd have been the old the pre-war font. Yeah, I don't know if it. Yeah, so should have, we should be able to get these pre-war. But if not, if we can't get that yeah. font pre-war font, then we'll go with that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, then um, anyway, you've got fuel vent. that was your fuel vent. It's supposed to have a screen in it. Uh, so the, and the screen's purpose uh, is it's actually a uh, flame arrester. So, uh, and then this is one through hull for a bilge pump, presumably, and this is another one for a bilge That's pump. Right. And we thought we would just do uh, these. This one goes away because we're going to vent for your, through your fuel cap, and these two will make them the same. And they're both in the front of the boat, so we can actually bung one of these off. He only needs one. True. But we could bung one off. All right. Or we could put two match and just kind of put a splitter in it and let it pump out both sides. Or just put a second second pump, or, or just put the one in for, for looks. Yeah, well, they're both up there in the bow, either way. Yeah. Either way, I mean, you, you see both of them at the same time looking at the front of the boat. Yeah, you, you shouldn't need more than one bilge pump, uh, but he's been pretty particular about changing planks when there's an issue with the plank. So, yeah. um, so I think I would put one in and not even hook a hose to it. Just plug it off on the back side. What the heck? Well, it's had two, two out of mansion in there. Yeah, just so it looks the same. Anyhow, we had the you, you can tell us what you prefer on that. And maybe you do want us to go ahead and change the plank, but I'm not recommending that. I mean, that's a lot of money. Um, so, uh, uh, and I'm, fru and I'm frugal. <laughs> and his hose. So one thing we'll do, we'll put a, a, a bung or a plug in his fuel vent on the right. tank yeah that's all right. because there was a copper line then it was stove pipe to a piece of rubber pipe. hose yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so we, I, told, I, already, I didn't already, tell them all that part yeah. but that plank's already been changed so right all right yeah that that plank where that went for your fuel vent uh, that is a plank that we changed so we won't be drilling that back in all right thank you